Hi guys, um, welcome back to my uh, channel. So, uh, yeah, oh, you, what, well, what, what you're saying right now is a Photoshop um, with Elon Musk. You should take the approach that you're wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong, right? I like that quote. Um, so even in writing my software, I start on the premise, applying this code, right? I start on the premise that the way I write code is wrong. And if I find, find out that uh, it is really wrong, then I correct it. Especially if somebody uh, uh, tell me that that it is it is uh, it is wrong all right so th that way um, I think it will uh, help us improve probably become one of the best um, software developer out there all right so anyway I'm just going to provide an update on the things uh, uh, in my previous video I've mentioned that uh, the ed web one website or the school website that I created uh, is not yet uh, completed. It's not 100% complete. So right now, um, I'm going to give you an update on what are the changes and improvements, those kinds of things, all right? So the first thing, I have notes here on the side to make sure that I will not uh, miss anything, all right? Um, let me just log in first to the website. I'm into the CMS, all right? So the, the website is right here, as you can see, right? You see this, I explained everything before about uh, everything here that works, especially this one, the number of views. It counts the number of views every time that the user reads. And most of the changes that I made is actually on the back end. All right, on the content management system. Let me just go ahead and log in right here. Okay, so here's the dashboard. I did not talk about the, this uh, dashboard before. So as you can see, uh, the dashboard actually like summarize the statistics for the website. It's, it's not everything, but this is, this is, this is where I started. Look at that. That's um, this dashboard will count how many uh, visitors that uh, uh, for 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 the website. Okay. So right now uh, it says three hundred four. Uh, I that data is actually an actual data every time that I open the website here in my system. Yeah. You know the website is still here on my computer. It's not yet uploaded on the web. Uh, but it will work the same way if I already deploy it in the web server. So just to show you that this one is working, visitors, it's right now it's 304. So I'm going to uh, visit the site, for example, that one. So it's, it's, it's counted as one visit. So when I go back here in the dashboard and refresh it, see, it's already 305 visitors. Okay. I just zoom in so, it, so you can see. Let's try it again. I'm going to visit again the site. All right, this URL is temporary. It's it's only applicable for my computer, but it would work the same if uh, this website is already uploaded in the in the web server. Okay, so it was 305, and then we visited it again right now. When we go back, uh, refresh the page, so you can see from 305 is 306. I'll do it again. I'll refresh this page. So one visit, 306, and then if I refresh the page, it's 307. Yeah, I know that there are a lot better ways of doing this. Actually, we can implement a technology that this data, we don't, we don't have to refresh the page. Every time that the user visit the, the homepage, it will be counted here real time. But uh, I think that I'm gonna do it in the future, but right now, I just wanna make sure that 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 part is working. All right. So aside from visitors, this dashboard also count how many posts that the uh, uh, administrator have created. Yeah. For example, uh, somebody uh, bought this website. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, somebody buy this website, especially when it's already completed. Um, 
I, they don't need me anymore to manage the site actually because they already have the content management system that I created all right I, I know right now this is already common but I, I there are still uh, offices and companies that when they wanted to make a change on their website they still contact the advertising company or the IT company that created the website uh, just to make a simple update for the site and they pay some money all right there are still some uh, are doing that but for this one you don't need it uh, once the, the once you buy the site once once the site is deployed in the web server you have everything you need to manage your website all right you don't need you don't need any more uh, uh, the, the the website developer unless you wanted to to request for a massive or a major change on the site all right, but when it comes to the essential management for the website uh, Everything that you need is already here. So, so for the dashboard, it counts the post. You will see here how many posts you already have. For example, in a school, because this one is a, it's a website designed for a school. Um, over the year, like one school year, you will, you will definitely have a lot of numbers here, as well as for visitors. It might be, it might uh, uh, increase like up to thousands, all right, of, of, that, of uh, data or data. As well as the total hits. Total hits is like the the the, the sum of uh, users who read each post, as well as the visitors. For the visitor, um, I just calculated when a user visit the home page of the website. Just the home. It is very straightforward, all right. So, but but if you're a developer, and if you can tell me uh, a way, maybe an algorithm on how you do that. I would appreciate it. You, you can let me you, you can let me know down in the comments below, or maybe you can message me directly on my website. All right. So let me just open my website. See in my website, you get, you have here a contact page. Uh, you, maybe you don't have to tell me your real name. You can message me here <laughs> if you have uh, if you if you need to tell me something about uh, uh, what you have your your idea on how you, on how you implement this kind of things. Uh, categories it, it will count the categories we know the categories is for the post for example this one science extracurricular sports supply uh, this part right there is just simply to manage uh, on what type of uh, post uh, that we uh, uh, what type of uh, content that we post on the website all right so b basically that's it so, so for the dashboard and this is one of the major things that that, that I uh, implemented is the home page visits um, actually uh, yeah uh, the, the website now has the uh, features or, or have the ability to capture the user's IP address what operating uh, they used and what type of device they're using or if it's a mobile or a computer and it also have the, the time uh, they visited the site this one is actually a time right now it's just like a a uh, uh, gibberish numbers but this is actually time but i haven't formatted yet it yet to a human human readable time it's still in unix timestamp uh but, but i can just convert it right now it's still in unix time it's it's very easy to convert it to human readable time i'm gonna do it uh on, on my next update all right but this is actually time let me just show you how uh, it would display. I'm gonna go ahead and suggestion box. As you can see right here is October 25, uh, and then there's a year, and then the time a.m. or p.m. Okay, uh, that's what's gonna display here if I already update uh, the, the the program. Okay, so uh, aside from homepage visit, I also we, we also gather the post title, IP address, uh, operating system, browser. Uh, basically the device information that the user used to read the news and updates of the post so probably down on this table i'll be counting the how many reads for every post actually uh, we already uh, have done that it uh, even in the uh, on the user's end okay as you can see on this post we are actually tracking how many views uh, it did, right now it's one if we're gonna click read on this post as you can see it's already two okay if we go back to the home page it's updated it's, it's two so this feature i'm gonna be putting it here on the uh dashboard as well uh, on the dashboard for for the content management system all right as you can see we have 
page, uh, pagination here where you can navigate okay uh, every data on the table so that's for the dashboard um, yeah you, you might be wondering that probably we might, we might be uh, violating like some privacy uh, thing uh, since we capture the, the data information though so that's why in this video I'm also gonna talk about uh, website tracking uh, and, and the practice of, of website tracking I actually have an article here that um, yeah as you can see uh, yeah this is the article uh, I'm gonna be putting this in this in the description down below of, of this video 79% uh, of websites use trackers that collect user data. See, uh, it, it, it's not really intended to, to, to violate privacy. Uh, uh, it's actually, you know, obviously for business, it's for marketing purposes, all right, for business. And, uh, and that's a win-win thing. What do I mean by win-win uh, scenario? It's, it's because we use Grab app or the Uber, okay? Um, uh, uh, for uh, when, we, when we order food or, or products online the, the reason that the, the Uber uh, knows where the, your location is, big, is because the app actually uh, captured all your information your exact location all right once your app IP address is captured on the website or for a particular app that website already knows where you are all right it, it might sound uh, uh, creepy or, or scary probably when you live probably way uh, like uh, 10 or 20 years ago uh, uh, from i mean way back if, if you live on that time it's, it's probably very scary but but right now i don't think it's it, it's it's really a big deal that websites are capturing your your ip address actually it's kind of a gray area on that part well technically you can actually uh, uh, the ip address in, in in a situation not not in all situation ip address can be a personal information but not in all situation for example right now uh, normally for your for the residential uh, residential uh, uh, account for for uh, internet uh, uh, like what i have right now like what you have right now in your phone it's actually a, a, a dynamic ip address okay uh, that means it changes every now and then all right, it changes. So your IP, your IP address right now may not be the same tomorrow or maybe after, after a few days. All right, it, it changes unless you, you purchase a business account. The business account is, is, a, is a permanent or a static IP address, but, but that's more expensive. All right, but for an ordinary user's account, the IP address is dynamic. But, but so it, it's not really uh, something personal, uh, uh, personal information but 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 uh, since we have privacy law uh website you you will see that there's always a warning uh, terms and agreement uh even in my website i put it here as you can see um uh, uh, i see here i i i read in here by using the site you agree the terms of this policy if you do not agree to the terms policy please do not use this site yeah all we we actually do not notice this this information on every site uh you know facebook all of your information information is there your your pictures even our chat messages they, they have it so uh, i think it, it, it's not uh, uh, capturing device and ip address is it, it's, it's not something that uh, the, uh, not, not, not so much of a big deal right now especially nowadays all right so yeah as you can see in my website i actually um, gather uh, i stated here yeah, what types of information do we collect? I said we here, but because I, I might have a team in the future, uh, probably would help me uh, create products and services uh, on the web. So we collect your device and look at that. such I device type, IP address, operating system, and browser used to access this site. All right, so that's the thing. So uh, I mentioned earlier that the capturing information is for marketing purposes, and uh, you might ask. Why is it? Why did you implement it on the website? Well, it's not just business that will that will benefit for, from capturing this information because aside from marketing, it can have uh, an academic value or a research value. All right, 
uh, we, when we gather this information, we can kind of come up for educators, for researchers, we can come up with with a data analytics uh, that, that probably you are you are analyzing uh, the, the number of users that uh, that are using this particular device and that particular device uh, and their location and uh, it, it can be very valuable for research uh, so that, that, that's the main reason that I have implemented the the website tracking on, on this uh, particular content management system even WordPress is doing it uh, Google you name it, um, it, it uh, uh, TikTok or Instagram uh, all, all those kinds of apps are are capturing everything all right we, we use face app uh, b basically the 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 the, the, the face app uh, no more uh, details about you not just your device but also including your 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 biological information perhaps your your digital footprint of your uh, of your uh, uh, face all right so uh, th those kind of things so, so I just have to explain that um, so that you might not uh, freak out why 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 your com information is being captured uh, at your IP address what type of your device you're using on the internet um, uh, it's really a normal practice right now for, for websites but but of course uh, in in line with that uh, the website will 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 tell you uh, a a, a pop-up or information just like this one okay in fact when we subscribe the, the, our ISP our internet provider does not just capture our information they actually track what website we visit all right all right they track everything our online activity and we have agreed to that in the in their terms of agreement we, we just don't read it <laughs> sometimes it's like two or three pages or four pages uh, on the website we, we also see that cookies uh, information uh, that they are capturing but we, but we don't pay at, pay attention to it all right but but we we click somehow we allow it anyway that that was we do in in, re, in reality uh, we just don't read it but actually we have agreed to the terms of the agreement that our infor device information will be captured uh, uh, but but we don't really read it <laughs> all right but I think uh, it, it's not a problem right now but, so if you're not if you do not want your information to be captured so you don't have to use grab over Facebook you don't have you don't have to use those 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 technologies and and I don't think that's gonna gonna be possible right now in our uh, lifestyle uh, nowadays all right that that took quite a lot of uh, time explaining the website tracking so I'm gonna be talking about the so the dashboard uh, next is the suggestion box all right last time I didn't show you how this works right here let us know what you think uh, for a school it is very important to connect with stakeholders all right the parents or the learners or anyone that has concerns for the school so that the school will be able to improve their uh, their uh, services all right so when the user click this all right it goes to the this page since it's a message okay so basically uh, this idea is like to to uh, allow the participation of the community uh, to improve the uh, the service the educational service of, of the school so right now they can here they can state their name uh, I could just say here mark um, James <laughs> just made it up a phone number and then they can they can type their message I'll just copy this message okay and then they can send the message your message has been sent so uh, where does this message go all right so it goes to the content management system uh, that we have created so it's connected uh, it, it is connected to this system so as a as, as a website administrator you can go ahead and go to suggestion box okay you can click that and there we see mark James the one that we just typed earlier including the time uh, and the uh, I mean the date and the time it was sent okay so it is accurate right now it's five over yeah I, I have to adjust the time zone for this one but as you can see uh, it, it actually gives us the the time and the date this is like an hour late uh, probably I think it's five it's supposed to be six 
but it's just some it has some it just have something to do with my time zone uh, that is set in my code right here so I'm gonna be uh, updating that all right so as you can see this is the message uh, if you want it uh, in, in this table it will only uh, display uh, a limited uh, information about the message so you can click that so you can see the the whole message okay uh, see uh, it, it was sent using a Windows 10 computer okay if it was a smartphone it will state their uh, iPhone I mean uh, Android or handheld device and then Chrome or handheld browser or iPhone if, if, if it was sent by an iPhone so yeah so uh, so we're done with yeah I'm just gonna highlight as well the security feature of this uh, uh, messaging when we uh, from the home page when we when the user clicks it um, they will not be able to send right away as you can see there's a timer here that I that I uh, to prevent the uh, spamming so it's a uh, spamming uh, prevention uh, mechanism for the website because uh, there might be some users who will keep on sending unnecessary messages so at least it will prevent uh, overloading for the site so for example it's digana john smith and then email address okay um if they will send a message before they can send another it will count 15 seconds for the button to be enabled as you can see right there it's it's counting i can set it to 30 seconds probably but i think 50, 15 seconds is enough there are other ways to prevent spamming uh, captcha but at this point uh it, it's a very straightforward solution uh that i created from scratch okay so uh next is suggestion box yeah when we when you try to submit uh, a, a box from this i mean a message from this suggestion box that's how i call it but it's just really sending a message um you will not be able to do so so it will prevent blank uh data from being sent to our database okay so you can see try to send a message without completing the form uh even we will put the name and email address but i'll try to send a message you see it says please fill out this field so they're gonna have to send a message send it message has been sent and then please wait yeah, there for for 15 seconds before the user will be able to do another uh, uh or will be able to to send another message okay i think that's it for the uh, suggestion box uh, originally i put here suggestion box but to make it like um, uh, conversational i just label it let us know what you think all right um yeah next is the okay um i don't know if i discussed this last time but right now i'm, I'm using my account but if i'm going to uh log out log, log out okay i'm going to log out i'm gonna be using another account there uh jonathan angelo okay i i have the password wrong okay yeah jonathan is actually my friend he is an instructor from aclc <laughs> yeah what's up uh, angelo uh yeah i ask you permission to use your picture and name right so anyway yeah in this demonstration just wanted to show you i for I, I don't know if i if i demonstrated this in my last video but as you can see um uh the name there is updated okay and uh, and the picture as well and uh, i'm going to demonstrate that the the security of the of the website for example uh, a user might think to copy this link all right i mean somebody might copy this link and so i'm gonna log, log out and they will try to paste it so as you can see the link will not work if you're not logged in okay it just routes you to the logged in page but if you logged in um just logged in maybe yeah i'm gonna log in how about this account john doe yeah i'm just of my friend angelo okay 
it's now logged in and we open a new tab and then you we paste a link on the admin as you can see it's uh it's working all right it's working for drafts paste here it's working you have the account and if you try for example this link right here i'm gonna copy that okay i'll put it on a note notepad so that you will see that i'm pasting the same information okay I'm, and i'm gonna log out and logged in as a different user for example this one oh maybe i'll just use my account i forgot the password for that account that i'm trying to log in okay so right now it's uh, my account my name right here i'm going let's go to the post i'll copy this and then paste it right here see it it, it still displays my name before it was the name of my uh, of angelo uh, my, my friend okay so uh, yeah just wanted to show you that the, the, the security of the website and dashboard ba uh, badge count yep oh yeah right here is new uh, last time i think i did not uh, sh it was act i did not discuss it because it was not actually working so uh uh this number here if i'm gonna zoom in it's called it, it says six because one, two, three, four, five, six categories. If we add one, let's say mathematics, submit. As you can see, it's seven. Okay. And then for uh, manage post, uh, this button is also new. I might remove this uh, add new post in the sidebar because it's already here. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five. So it's five right there. It's counting how many uh, posts that we have. I'm going to post another. Uh, I'm gonna make another post. What's that? Uh, Extracurricular. <laughs> uh, all right, and a picture here, and some text right there, and I'll submit it. So you can see, manage post is now six. Okay, it's counting the the number of posts that we have on the site. And for drafts, we don't have drafts. It's zero right now. If, if I'm gonna zoom in, it's zero. I'm gonna create. A draft okay I'll just say my draft category maybe science I'll pick a picture about this and paste some text and I'll save it as a draft okay see from zero the draft is now one okay when we click this you can see there's a draft and uh, the draft is uh, will not should, should not show up on the site okay there's no it's not here okay it's not here on the site but if we will i, I already uh, demonstrated this last time but if we will uh, go here and edit and then submit it okay view post there my draft it's already on the website okay so that's the dashboard badge count okay this one search cap capability yes it's already working for example here I'm going to search for academics so I'll just type here um, academics see I just type uh, ACA it's already there okay uh, and then let's say announcement and not there announcement and if you will say uh, nutrition month there only the nutrition month appears so it's the search capability is working uh, even for users for example you want to see admin see we have two admins Jerome Morales and Jonathan Angelo uh, my friend from ACLC an instructor for computer science he teaches like operating system mobile application development uh, he's a cool guy and I am je uh, jealous of what he does <laughs> so uh, if you want to look for a contributor there's Jane the contributor that's not a real person I just made that up if you want to look for editor do I have editor yeah we have two editors James Doe and user that um, yeah search capability right here I think I'm gonna be implementing this as well on the users website let's see if, we, if they're gonna be searching for school programs or a particular post okay I'm gonna be implementing that as well on this uh, project so what else uh search new ad button i okay security of the link i've mentioned that yeah i think that's it 
I'm not expecting that's gonna take like <laughs> again half an hour 30 minutes so I'm gonna end this video right now if you have made this far um, not very interesting topic for some and like what I've told you this is something that excites me and very interesting to me and uh, if you enjoyed as well welcome to the club <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching if you like this content um, please like uh, this video and uh, subscribe uh, yeah peace